In this video, we'll be taking a look at three NFL games happening on December 17, 2022, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So two picks for each game, six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three NFL games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from one betting pick a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. Indianapolis Colts vs. Minnesota Vikings The Minnesota Vikings hope to get some momentum for the playoffs as they face the Indianapolis Colts on Saturday afternoon. The Vikings are cruising along at 10-3 while the Colts are sputtering at 4-8-1. The Colts have won four straight against the Vikings including a 28-11 win back in 2020. The Vikings are just four-point favorites in this game. The Colts are 5-1 against the spread in the last six Saturday games and 2-5 against the spread in their last seven overall. Indian Indianapolis is 2-6 against the spread in their last eight road games. Meanwhile, the Vikings are 8-2 against the spread in their last 10 in Week 15 and 5-2-1 against the spread in their last eight overall. Minnesota is 3-7 against the spread in their last 10 in December. The Vikings' defense might not pitch a shutout here, but I think they are going to be a lot better. Matt Ryan isn't the quarterback he once was, and the Colts' offense just isn't good enough to put a lot of pressure on the Vikings' defense. Kirk Cousins and Justin Jefferson will continue their success, and the Vikings will get over their season average of 24 points per game. Minnesota had a pretty one-sided attack going against Detroit in their last game, hosting 416 total yards, with 394 of those being passing yards. The Vikings ended up with 23 first downs, two lost fumbles, and a 4 of 1-0 rate on third down conversions in that defeat. That said, Minnesota should be able to handle the Colts if the Vikings are playing to their capabilities. Speaking of Indianapolis, they're coming off a weird loss to Dallas featuring five turnovers turnovers and four of one three on third downs. The Colts have been below 20 points in each of their last three games and I don't believe that they'll keep up here either. So the Minnesota Vikings to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. The last four meetings between these teams hit the under by six points per game. In their last five games, the Colts are averaging just 16 points while Minnesota has averaged 23.8, a touch below their season average. Though the Vikings' defense has been a bit more porous lately, the Colts' offense is still not strong enough to score 21 or more points something they have done just twice this season. Indianapolis has had six of their last seven games versus a team with a winning record go under, and five of their last six games played on a Saturday have gone under. Neither team is hitting any major offense strides at this point in the season, and the Colts are just seemingly playing out the string at this point. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Baltimore Ravens vs. Cleveland Browns Baltimore will likely be without star quarterback Lamar Jackson for the second straight game when the Ravens face Cleveland in an AFC North battle on Saturday. They found a way to get past Pittsburgh without Jackson last week, escaping with a 16-14 win. Cleveland had its two-game winning streak snapped in a 23-10 loss at Cincinnati its last time out. Baltimore is 5-2 against the spread in their last seven road games and 4-9 against the spread in their last 13 games against a team with a losing record while the under is 4-0 in their last four division games. Cleveland is 5-14 against the spread in their last 19 division games and 13-36-2 against the spread in their last 51 games against a team with a winning record while the over is 4-1-1 in their last six home games. The Browns have a bit of an advantage heading into this contest considering the Ravens' offense is being infested by injuries. With Jackson likely out and the second string quarterback questionable, the Browns' defense will have the chance to go to town against a very very inexperienced rookie. With this being said, the Browns' defense has a lot of powerful weapons that will challenge the Ravens' offense. Delpit has been the trusted tackler for the Browns this season, with 54 solo tackles. With him alone, a rookie quarterback could be in trouble. If Garrett does play, then the Browns' pass rush would significantly level up as Garrett has 14 tackles for loss, 12 sacks, and 26 solo tackles. The Browns' rushing offense has been productive this year, averaging 149.5 rushing yards per game. 
With Chubb in the backfield, the Browns will be able to punch through the line to pick up first downs and create space for Watson and the passing game. Baltimore comes into this game with some major questions at quarterback, but they were able to make it work last week in their win against Pittsburgh. Cleveland has not looked very good on offense over the last two weeks and will face a defense that is only allowing 19 points per game. This game is a toss-up, but I am going to trust Deshaun Watson over Tyler Huntley. The Browns will outplay an injured Ravens offense, so the Cleveland Browns to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. Both of these teams are entering this game with some injuries to significant players. The Ravens will likely be without their passing and rushing leader leaving huge shoes to fill for the offense. Huntley is also questionable, likely leaving it up to the third string rookie to get things done. With this being said, the Ravens offense will need to be creative in their play calling to pick up yards against a decent Browns defense. The Browns have most of their starters, automatically giving them an advantage. However, they will likely be without Cooper downfield. This will take a receiver away from Watson, but the Browns typically run the ball so that won't be a huge issue. With Chubb in the backfield averaging over 5 yards per carry, expect the Browns to stay on the ground to limit fourth downs and turnovers. Both teams are suffering offensive injuries and will likely be forced to stick with the ground game, so expect this to be a low-scoring affair. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Miami Dolphins vs. Buffalo Bills The Miami Dolphins can move to within one game of the lead in the AFC East with a victory on Saturday when visiting Highmark Stadium to play the division-leading Buffalo Bills. Miami lost its second straight when falling to the Los Angeles Chargers 23-17 last Saturday. Prior to losing two straight, the Dolphins had won five in a row. Buffalo extended its winning streak to four straight with a 20-12 victory at home over the New York Jets last Sunday. With a victory on Saturday, Buffalo would take a three game lead with only three games remaining in the regular season. Jeff Wilson, Tyreek Hill, Teddy Bridgewater and Cater Coe are questionable for Miami while several others are out. Matt Milano, Ed Oliver and Jordan Phillips are questionable, while Von Miller, Christian Benford and Tommy Doyle are out as are others. Miami is 4-1 against the spread in their last five Saturday games and 3-7 against the spread in their last 10 games. The over is 4-1 in Miami's last five road games. Buffalo is 2-5 against the spread in their last seven games and 2-5 to, to 1 against the spread in their last eight games against a team with a winning record. The under is 9-2 to two in Buffalo's last 11 games. The over is 6-1 to one in these two teams' last seven head-to-head -head meetings in Buffalo. The Bills will look to avenge their loss to Miami earlier in the season with the weather in their favor this time. Buffalo's only home loss this year was that freak upset by the Vikings, while Miami is just 3-4 to four straight up on the road at 2-5 to five against the spread. The Bills' offense has been very good at home this year, averaging over 27 points per game. The weather elements feel like they could give Buffalo a decided advantage. Miami will have to figure out a way to run the ball to keep Josh Allen and company off the field, especially with the weather at play. Miami has lost two in a row and only scored 17 points in each. The Bills can also clinch a playoff spot with a win and get one step closer to an AFC East title. This is a tough number at 7.5, especially since the Bills are 6-6-1 against the spread on the season and 2-5 against the spread over their last seven. It's a tough buy point on Buffalo at this number even though they've won 8 of the last 10 straight up against Miami. So the Miami Dolphins to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. Despite the Bills' high scoring offense and scoring, they are just 3 to 10 to the over on the season. The same can be said about the Dolphins. They are just 6 to 7 to the over on the year. At a total of 42, this is the lowest total for both of these teams this season. The weather has played a factor in that number, and wind and snow are expected in the forecast. In the first meeting, Buffalo had a lot of success on the ground and held the ball for over 40 minutes. Miami has the third worst rushing attack on the road this season and could be a one dimensional team on Sunday. Ultimately, how much Miami can score will determine if this total goes over. The Bills' offense was contained the last two weeks against elite defenses, but the Dolphins don't have one. Still, the weather being the ultimate equalizer, it could also affect the kicking game for both teams. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyze. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.